what's going on youtube this is going to be our first episode of our scav series where we're going to be scaving through every single map today we're going to be starting with interchange though now interchange is one of my favorite maps of scav ever since i got tarkov purely because of the amount of different things that you can find here now if i miss anything on this run make sure to comment down below so we plan on doing this series about once a year and updating it first off we're checking out a couple of pcs here in bay one and three along the side of ollie here then we're going to check out the lockers for any gold and valuables. You can find gold chains, chainlets, rollers, bitcoins, a lot of different things in there. Across from the lockers, we're going to find a duffel behind the counter. And then we're going to head into the back of Ollie here where we're going to check out for a duffel on the shelving. And this particular shelving along the back here is really good for water filters and motors. You can find it in any of these little blank spots that you can see here. But unfortunately, this time Ollie has been picked. But luckily we're on interchange, you can find a lot of different things. We're gonna hit the duff with the back here. Then we're gonna fly along the back shelves here and hit up the grenade box. It's always important to have a grenade or two just in case you come across a PMC. These shelves are really good for car batteries and spark plugs. They so can spawn them statically, as well as these ones along the back here as well. We're gonna head inbound though, and we're gonna be checking out the grenade box here, as well as the gold spawner on the garden chair and the duffel underneath the shelving. Flying into the next aisle now. I'm gonna check a few little cheeky spots on the left that people often miss, as well as on top of these crates here. You can often find fuel and motors on that. Heading down here, we have the two PCs in the middle here, as well as the hideout items along these green shelves. Really, really good spot if you can get here nice and early because you can get a lot of different items, motors, water filters, uh, light bulbs, things like that that you can sell for anywhere to 20 to 50 to 100 grand on the flea market and really make your bang for your buck. You want to check out the duffel and these three shelving units along the front here are really good for gas ends, nuts and bolts. As well as these green shelves over here are really good to find some hideout items that people often miss. Now we're going to head all the way down the back just checking out any of these blank spots on the left. This spot past the forklift is particularly good for fuel. And then as we go around the left side, people often miss these couple of blank spots here because they just walk around the back of Ollie rather than checking down the aisles. Unfortunately, it's been picked clean this time, but this spot here is exceptionally good for water filters and motors, as well as on the right-hand side there. Now, as we come out the back here, you're gonna be able to find car batteries and spark plugs on these four shelves as well. Now, if you grabbed everything Ollie and you wanna head out, I just wanted to really showcase that there's also a route that you wanna take jumping down the ramp here. There's a duffel bag on the pallet. Then you wanna head out to the middle and up the container. You can find another duffel as well as weapon attachments on top of the box. Heading underneath now, there's another weapons box to the left. And then finally, there is a duffel bag in the light here as well that you wanna check out. Once you've hit the three duffels and the few weapons boxes, what we wanna do is head outside here and hit up the two stashes that are in the bushes out here. First one being next to the army boxes on this side. And the second stash is in the gap over here, just here. Before you head out, go back to the ramp and check the med and food spawn on top of the pallet there. If you're chasing your salewas or your iskras or noodles, then we head down the ditch have a look at the black box or the stash over there on the way out. Heading back inside now, we're at Ollie. And we're looking at the front lockers and now we're gonna head into the furniture store just here on the right. This spot is often pretty unpicked. There's a cheeky little gold spawn just here past the last pillar, as well as a tech spawn just in front of the TV. And you can also get cleaning products just here in these shelvings. Now we're gonna head back to the front of the furniture store and hit up the duffel bag if it's there. If it's not, we're gonna do a quick run by Texo, have a look at the shelves, and if they're being picked clean, it's more than likely that PMCs have already come through here and most likely already hit up tech light above. Once what we wanna check though is this med spawn that you can get lead axes in the broken box. We're gonna head up to tech light just to see if there's anything missed. What we wanna do is just check on both sides of these shelvings all the way through, as well as these three shelves just here. Now, as you're going along here, you can glide your nose along and look for any perception dots, just like this one. Now, if you see a perception dot from the other side, that means that there's something on the other side of the shelves and you just wanna check those out. I usually walk along this left side, just double checking all the shelves, get up to this end one that there's sometimes something up the top, and then I just double check down the side and make sure I haven't missed anything because GPUs really stand out with their circuits. 
In here next to Ultra, you want to check for loose meds as well as some lead axes. They're a very, very rare chance that they'll spawn on the outside shelves, but there is a chance. I wanted to show you this little garbage step up here that you can do a head peek on at the front of Ollie, just in case you didn't know it. And as we go towards Rasmussen, we're going to hit up this duffel bag. As I said, this has mainly all been picked clean by PMCs by the looks of it already, but we want to check inside these boxes here because sometimes your PMCs will miss those spots. Another spot that is commonly missed is at this front counter. You want to run your nose along there looking for a perception dot as well, and then just check in behind. I found a few GPUs that even though the whole store had been picked clean, they'd been behind that counter, so you want to check that out. As we head towards the dick, we hit up the duffel on the bench here, as well as the two jackets as we head inside. And as we come around the corner, there's another duffel bag spawn over here on the shelving, as well as a jacket in the corner. Duffel on the bed here. And then from a dick, where we want to head is back across to Avocado. We want to be checking out the duffel in the changing rooms on the right, as well as the duffel underneath the clothing rack here. Once we've hit up those few spots, we're going to hit into the back of Generic. We're going to hit up the brown jacket here that just seems really good for me. I don't know, every time I hit it, it's just one of those things. Today we got Ollie Logistics key. There's RB OP key just on that cupboard as well as some gold spawns just in on the right. We're gonna hit the duffel on the way past. Heading into the med tents at the front of Goshen here, and we're gonna be looking for stims and meds on the left-hand side. There's two tables in here that you can get them from, here and here. Good little spot for your samples quest. Now there's a couple of duffel bags here, here and past barbed wire, but I don't usually check them because they're about in the open a little bit too much. There's tech spawns here in German along here. A lot of the time PMCs don't come in here because they don't like making sound on the wood. So you can pick up some things. Heading to the back of Mantis now. We're looking for the gold spawns on top of the spray container here. As well as there is a jacket, a duffel bag spawn on the couch and gold spawns on these shelvings just here. Heading down the far aisle, we're going to be looking underneath the cabinet here for a perception dot to see if you can find anything. I found Latexes here before, as well as Latexes on this shelving just here. Now you just want to make sure you check around all of the edges here because you can pick up some stims that you might need for your samples quest as well, as well as hitting this jacket as well. Now one thing I want to show you before I do leave, I just remembered that you can hop up on this and get a jiggy little peek all the way down, especially if someone's holding that angle at the top of the boxes down the end. Just thought I'd show that one just in case you didn't know that. Doing some zigging and zagging between cover here, we're gonna be heading to TTS. TTS is ridiculously good for duffel bags, especially this one behind the counter, that even if it's completely picked, people don't often check. There's duffel underneath the shelving here as well as on top. Just here, there's another one on the bench as well as a med bag spawn. There's tech spawns all along here that you can find GPUs and Tetrises. And the last spot you wanna check is just around the back here, there's a gold spawn on the shelf, as well as a duffel. As we head outside, there's a duffel on the bed here. We're gonna hit up the two jackets that are commonly here in the middle. Then we're gonna to swing to the left and check in the corner here to see if the duffel's on the couch. From there, we're gonna head into this little tech store on the right. Now this tech store is really good because it's either really loaded with a bunch of stuff or it has nothing in it. It's either one of the one or the other. I haven't really had any other experiences. Let me know if it's been any different for you down in the comments, but there's either a bunch of stuff in here or there's bugger all. Now, as we head down towards the idea, we're gonna hit up the duffel on the right-hand side here. Swinging all the way down to the dry cleaners on the left-hand side. We're gonna be looking for the duffel that's on the bench, as well as the headgear spawn just here in the middle. You can get all your cowboy hats, your, your shunkers, as well as helmets there as well. So you wanna check that as you go past. On the right side of Adia here, we're gonna check out the duffel at the front. The duffel over on the couches. As we swing into the middle here, we're gonna see if the duffel is underneath the shelving here, which it is. Heading down the mid lane, we're gonna be looking for the AKM that spawns here on the pallets, as well as some weapons attachments just around the corner. There's two more duffel bag spawns just in this area, one out here on the couch, and the other one's gonna be just through here next to the bed. 
Now, as we head around into the far lane, there's weapons attachments here on the right hand side, as well as a duffel just around the corner. Heading back across, there's a duffel chance next to this bed, as well as another duffel chance just down here towards the idea offices. Now, as we swing around the corner here, there's a duffel on the couch, as well as a lion spawn just here. I haven't seen it in a couple of wipes, but I have got it there a couple of times before. All of these blank spots here can spawn tech loot, and if it hasn't been looted, there's a good chance you can find a Tetris or a GPU at the back here. Another really good couple of tech spawns are the one here on the box. All of these benches here can spawn tech, as well as a good tech spawn just in front of the monitor that you want to check. There's a duffel bag spawn on the couch, and as we head back along the cash registers, past the first pillar here, the second cash register, there is a tech spawn just here that people miss. And as we go towards the information desk, around the back of it, it is really good for your alkaline, your bleach, um, your clean, things like that. So you wanna check that out. And then you just wanna hit up the idea lockers as well and see if you can get any valuables along the front here. Once you've done that, you head back, hit up the duffel on the bench, as well as the two duffels, the one down near the pharmacy here on the left and the one at your information sign at the front here. Now there's only a couple of other spots that I wanna kinda of showcase on the way out if you were going to railway. And that is, you wanna check the ambulance in the back here because you can get some good meds. And there's also an ambulance further down that you can get a lead X spawn in the back of it, but it is just a general med spawn as well. There is a stash in the bush here in the middle of the go-karts, as well as a stash over the blue fence bush there. And there is a dead scab that can spawn here in front of the, the porta potty. So you wanna check that out because dead scabs can spawn anything in the game. I've got lead axes, bitcoins, plenty of things off them. There's a stash underneath the bridge here. And then behind this little red shed, there is a weapons box. And just as we come up here, we had a community member note on my lead X video the other day that he's found a few Ledexes here on these boxes. Now, I haven't particularly found one there myself, but I have seen meds spawn there, so there is a chance, of course, that a Ledex can spawn there. Last but not least, there's a jacket spawn here before you head out the railway. Now, interchange mains would kill me if I didn't show you these spots. There's golden bitcoins you can find there, as well as loose meds and a duffel. Now, I know you can get a Kyber, whether it's an in or out of key spawn there, but I can't remember exactly where it is. I found it once. There's gold valuables in both the tents, as well as a duffel bag. And what you want to do from here is head back to the back of Goshen, hit up the duffel on the container there. You can go through the doors and hit the other duffel further down to the left if you really want to. But you want to check this back table for meds and lead axes because there's a really good chance you're going to find stimulants and good meds there. Here on the duffel in the middle of the shelves near the burning pile, from the duffel, we want to head down to the front here and hit up the Goshen lockers. This is the biggest set of lockers inside of Interchange. And you can get a lot of, like I said, gold chains and chainlets are your main things that you're going to find, but you can get Bitcoins and rollers as well. So they're definitely worth checking just for some extra cash. Now, as we head into the next bay, there's a duffel at the back here that a lot of people miss. Depending on their settings, it's a very dark corner. It's a weapons box that can spawn just there and some stims and ammo that can spawn along the bench here. Now, if you jump over, there's actually a duffel here hidden in the cash registers, as well as a weapons box just there to pick up some extra loot. And in here is arguably the best officers in interchange with a total of 11 to 13 different PC blocks that you can find. So it's definitely one of the best spots if you're chasing your GPUs for mechanic. You definitely want to come here for two or three runs. That's usually how I get my three GPUs for mechanic is I literally just do PC runs through here as well as hitting up those couple of tech stores on scab runs. And I usually have all of my GPUs ready to go before I even get the quest. Now underneath the staircase here, you can also see a black army box. There's a duffel bag spawn underneath the desk here as well as you can get the three stack of computers. They aren't always here. An abundance of chances to get GPUs and this time I got sweet F all, but I have got a fair few doing a few of these runs to record some of this, so I've lucked out. There's a duffel underneath the desk here, as well as this is one of the two spots so you can disable the alarms and interchange, and there is a duffel out here on the couch. And that's the runs. 
depending on where you spawn is where you're going to be going from those routes but if you have any spots that should be included or you think that should be make sure you comment them down below so we can include them in the next one and if you enjoyed this video you might enjoy either of these ones so make sure you click them and i'll catch you guys in the next one